It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey. Today we're here for Beginners Let's Play episode number 14. Now, this is a series that's pretty much been sidelined for a pretty long time, but I'm really sad to bring it back and I really just want to go ahead and finish it up. We only have about, I want to say, let's see, one, two, three, four more cities to go. So I thought, let's go ahead and just finish it up, wrap it up, and put it down in the books as done. So today we're going to be hitting up Mumbai as I said now there are 16 days to go through we're gonna be covering about one or two today and maybe get a couple more later on but let's go ahead and jump into the fight here so here's my team I have a level 13 commando level 11 bushwick level of level 11 lumberjack level 9 combat medic I have my level 10 trooper level 9 scatter sh eh, scatter shot goodness gracious level 12 uh, captain Zeta and my borrowed level 11 fire chief now for my builds, I really think it's important to have a lot of solid gunner type units like my commando trooper and scattershot and things like that. But with each team I have, I like to make sure that I have some heavy unit coupled along with a medic. That's just kind of how that's been my general theme for the majority of this campaign. And my go to choice is definitely the combat medic along with the lumberjack because those two units are work really, really well together. That lumberjack is amazing against drones. And then the combat medics just giving huge boosts of health to them to keep them up and going. Now we actually gonna get you actually will get a combat medic along the way in this campaign. So it's not gonna be something you have to get in a pack or anything like that. So you're just gonna go ahead and get it right off the bat, which is really, really helpful. But let's go ahead and jump into it and enough talking about my team and everything. And let's get after it. So guys, I don't think I've talked this that much, but I love these new loading screens. The forums and just like shout outs to different things. They have troop overviews and stuff like that. I absolutely love it. But here we go. So here we go. This is a very beautiful city. So we have three, how many objectives we have to defend here? Let's go ahead and check really quick. So I see two objectives that we have to worry about. And a really cool thing is here that there are a lot of surgeons that are gone, going to be go ahead and given to us to help and increase our chances at success. So we're going to be going against some sprayers, morticians, and brutes. Now I actually brought it wrong my Bushwick, but y'all can bring along a spec spec ops sharpshooter whatever you want just a normal sniper But you're gonna definitely want to bring along a sniper for taking out some of these big brutinists Now if you have an outlaw or a desperado, that's also really helpful But it really depends on your personal preference for, for me. I'm gonna go ahead and bring along Bushwick <coughs> Excuse me guys So let's go ahead and look at this first little pad right here now. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here I'm gonna go ahead and put down my melee units pretty up and close to the action my lumberjack fire chief and let's keep bushwick out for just a second and keep the combat medic up there so that's going to be our important key area right there now i'm going to put a couple gunner units my trooper and scatter shot now you can easily replace the trooper with a gunslinger <coughs> goodness gracious i have a cold sorry guys gunslinger or a just a gunfighter whatever you think is your best team build but that's pretty e easily interchangeable now over here i'm just going to go ahead and let's see since this is the first wave, I'm just going to go ahead. Actually, let's go ahead and put Bushwick down there. Now, for the rest of this, I'm just going to go ahead and wait and see. Now, I could go ahead and anticipate where some of these guys are going to be coming out. But I'm going to go ahead and put Destructor with this surgeon over here. And then put my commando with this surgeon. That way, either pad's pretty much ready just in case. But let's go ahead and start the waves. We can get every single troop re getting kind of refreshed and everything like that. And let's get after it. Not going to lie, guys. Feeling a little bit rusty on the commentary. But I feel like I'm going to get back into it. Just got to get that tongue flowing, get the vocabulary spewing, get all these units talking. But here we go. So really up close. My Bushwick's working really great for taking down these big brutes and stuff like that. Combat Medic just went down, but it's okay because I feel like my guys have just enough health, health to survive until I get that next Combat Medic up and running. There we go. Let's go ahead and stem up these guys up in this area. Give them a little extra health, power, and everything like that. So there we go. Instant boost. <coughs> and we're doing pretty good there. Let me go ahead and throw down a couple more gunner units in this region because that's where we're going to be getting a majority of units for just a second. Let's go ahead and flare them away. Just give them a little bit of room to breathe. <coughs> that way we'll be able to deal with them a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and put down my next Bushwick over here. Let's go ahead and fortify this area with another commando and a fire chief. Let's relocate them just a little bit. And we're going to go and stim up these guys real quick. Just get a little extra health boost to help deal with those guys a little bit quicker. 
So I love the commandos and the lumberjacks specifically because they're really good with dealing up close with all these drones and it allows some of your other units to really focus in on these mutated zombies like these sprayers which are causing a ton of damage up front. So it's really nice to have those guys. But there you go. There you have it. That is the very first day on good old Mumbai. So we got to go show our rewards here. <coughs> Looks like we got all three. I'll take it. So let's go ahead and get on to day two and then we'll call it a day. But Mumbai day one is completed. Day two, we're going to get 22,250 crates as our reward. So I will definitely take that. But yeah. So guys, definitely make sure that your gunner units are high. I really wor I worked on upgrading my trooper and my commando in Bushwick just before I started recording this video to make sure I had plenty of power to take these guys out. Now I'm 300 over the res um, respective. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> I'm 300 over the um, recommended team power. So I have a little, a pretty solid cushion there. So I had actually farmed a little bit on the earlier cities to make sure that I had a pretty high level sniper to deal with those brutes because I didn't really want, I didn't want to worry about those guys in particular. And I also made sure my trooper was evolved to level 10. So that was my main focus going into it. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get day two in here real quick. The flamethrower. Watch the horde burn. The power of the flamethrower's flames. Pretty swaggy. <clears throat> all right here we go so we have a pretty nice lane here i'm gonna go ahead and throw down a bushwick to look straight down the lane here let's go and find our objectives really quick though we have two hospitals on the looks like the right side of the map here so we're gonna be able to funnel these guys pretty easily we have a nice little area of walls here to kind of get them straight down this lane here <clears throat> next sniper will probably go in this little waypoint over there <clears throat> But until then, let's go ahead and put down a majority of gunner, gunner units hiding behind this wall because they're going to have a pretty good hover cover back there. So I'm going to get all three of my gunner units up there along with Destructor because she's going to have, or Captain Zeta as you call her, she's going to be able to shoot several projectiles over that wall. So that's going to be really helpful when we get there. And then up here, this is where I'm going to have all my melee guys. So that's just when that kind of wave starts pumping out there. And then I'll fortify this next area on the right over here once we start getting some people. <laughs> So here we go, first wave, let's go ahead and send it early, get a little bit of that time bonus if we can. So drones can be pretty easily taken out by my commando and my scatter shot and everything like that. They're just knocking them out. Bushwick is taking care of that brute, no problem. And once they get up to this wall, they just really just don't stand a chance because we're dealing so much damage really quickly. So our brute's on the way over here. Now the problem is I don't have any Bushwick really covering this area per se. Looks like I'm going to lose that surgeon, but it's okay. We're, we're going to survive. Let's throw down another uh, fire chief over there just for good measure. <clears throat> so Bushwick's almost on the way. Let me go ahead and throw down a trooper and another lumberjack just for safe measure. I'm going to go ahead and stim that group up and then flare them away just to give a quick second in time for these lumberjacks to take out some of these drones. Trooper to help deal some damage on that brute and then we'll just be able to finish off that wave fairly easily. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw down my other Bushwick down here. He's got a pretty good vantage point looking down this lane. Help take out some of those mutated zombies. Now we are getting into a pretty sticky area over here with the uh, other wave coming down. We haven't really fortified that area yet. But go ahead and throw down a fire chief with the paramedic. That's pretty much going to lock those guys down from getting too much further down. And then I'll throw in my scatter shot and trooper to help provide some extra fire against those drones and things like that. And then now that we have the extra lumberjack, let's go and throw him down, use our Molotov cocktail, finish out the remainder of those drones. And looks like our Bushwicks are just going to take down that brute. Last couple of drones are going to go down and that's going to go ahead and finish that map off. So guys, um, like I said, this trooper is an exclusive unit, so you can easily swap him at, her out for a gunslinger or a gunfighter fairly easily. So that's going to be a really good replacement to fill in there. And then likewise for the Bushwick unit, which I use as an also exclusive unit, you can go ahead and sub in a sharpshooter, a normal sniper, or a spec ops. Your personal preference, whatever you like, but the sharpshooter is going to provide that extra power damage. So you definitely might want that. <clears throat> that go ahead and concludes uh, day one and two. Um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and kind of conclude the video now because that gives a pretty solid breakdown of Mumbai. If you have any more questions, make sure to go and throw them down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, go ahead and slap a like on it. I really appreciate you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.